Hello and welcome back to Most Wanted. It's finally time. We're actually going to push the button and challenge Webster. We've got three races actually. Um, two sprints and a speed trap. We've got the Gallardo. Ah, we've got the Gallardo, right? I just saw a glimpse of it. Good. There we go. Got the Gallardo. So uh, let's do it. Shouldn't be much of an issue. Uh, Webster's not a a known opponent to be that quick plus the Corvette isn't as good as the Gallardo anyway let's be fair oh there he is, peekaboo it's got a really nice paint on it though there we go, there's a little donut a little Ebisu style jump drift and it's calmly come by in the, uh, the chrome lilac Gallardo that car length right out the hole and we'll just gently extend our lead what a car, A hey. already fighting dirty this one racing a Corvette here's a question of the day what do you think about the C8? Uh, recently revealed Imagine if you're watching this in like 2021. Mid-engine Corvettes are pretty normal now. Uh, but yeah, mid-engine, it's still V8, real drive. Um, but it's mid-engined mid and it's just an automatic. There's no manual option. Which is sad because, yeah, autos are good enough now that they're better than manuals performance-wise, but not having a manual Corvette is a bit of a letdown, in my opinion. Uh, price point, very good. I think it's like $60,000. If it ever comes to the UK, it'll be like £80,000. Like, we don't get the good stuff price-wise, but everything's taxed to hell here. But in America, you guys get for like $60,000. That's amazing. And it'll be even cheaper on the used market, uh, assuming they don't get all snap oversteered to death. I think the Mustang might have a rival now at the cars. But overall, I like it. I think it should have been called the Fiero, and the Corvette should have remained front engine. But oh well, I'm not the one uh, calling the shots at GM. And I've been teasing a mid engine Corvette since I want to say the 70s, I think. But yeah, there's your question of the day. What do you think about the C8? The Kate. We've just destroyed Webster, by the way. I've not, I've not even been trying. I've just been like driving around talking about Corvettes and we've just destroyed Webster. Last turn, last straight. Boom. Now the speed trap, which is even easier. Made Discord noise. <laughs> I'll just mute my PC for a second. <laughs> uh, which is a good segue. Join the fucking Discord. It's amazing. Honestly, like, did not expect our Discord to be that epic. You got shit posting and normal posting and pro street posting, or everything. See, 113, 96, we've destroyed webs already. I really hope we get the Corvette though, because it's a good um good ornament to have. I know I said it's supposed to be like a chase car, but I just had to use it for this race. Because you know, it's the Gallardo, come on. I'll actually build the uh the next race car off camera and then I'll debut it next episode. So you probably know what it's gonna be. You probably guessed from like what's really in the garage. But um you know it seems to be a bit of a shame to build this car and not beat Webster with it. This so far has been like the slowest speed I've ever done, like 206 and past 2 already. Once we're actually out of the little like the 
twist the belt. That would be alright. He's like 40 miles an hour down on me. How's he gonna do this? Come on, Webster, just give up. Give me them keys. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure Webster's on. He's um, he's been destroyed. JV is next in his wiper. Uh, again, I'm not sure if JV is even that quick. It's kind of a problem, I think, when you get to this point in the game. Once you've got the Gallardo, nothing is a challenge anymore. Which is why I'm just going to keep with the chase car. I'll build an actual race car. Oh, shit, that's... Oh, man, that was a... I'm sure they planned that. Like, let's put a tree right before the speed trap. We're gonna catch up now, isn't it? I know it's like 90 miles out. Has he done the same shit then? Huh. It'd be funny if he did. Got a cinematic shot with my flat bellied, wide body Gallardo. A masterpiece. Chrome lilac. Full Saudi. I think we'll probably, um,. Look into changing the stripes. Oh shit, that's a terrible corner. When we've uh, unlocked some more designs, I think. Shouldn't be too far away. Maybe if we beat um, after JV, I think the most one lock, I think. I think by Ronnie, you've unlocked every everything. Obviously, Razor needs a lot of bounty, so we do a lot of chase with Razor. Keep our speed up. I think that's nail in the coffin. Webster, he's not gonna come back from that, is he? Let's be fair. Unless he does like 250 miles an hour beyond the car's limits. No, 270. Let's be 270. I don't think even the Viper can do that. Nope. <laughs> he was about 90 miles an hour off. He tried, bless him. And then obviously there's a little trick where if you win the race, everyone else's speed starts getting decreased until they finish, so... That went from 708 to 508 all of a sudden. Look at that. <laughs> he got screwed. Last sprint. Oh, so easy. This, this is why I wanted to like give it a purpose, because it just makes the games too easy otherwise. Is that my first rodeo, or my second, or my third? With the Gallardo. I've, um... Okay, let's go through. I had it on Most Wanted PS2. Most Wanted Black Edition PS2. And Most Wanted Xbox 360 Edition. Which isn't even an edition, but... It's the only one that was all like HD and shit at the time. PC mods to uh, make it widescreen and HD, so I count the 360 version as its own sort of thing. If that makes sense, but it doesn't. Uh, I haven't actually played most of it on the PC, not properly anyway. I played it a little bit to sort of try and mod it, but it ain't really work. I don't really played it properly. Might do at some point. Me, nope. It never lets me use the shortcut in a normal race. Apart from that one time. Also demonstrating why I... Well, why, why me and Benson have started like, editing Let's Plays down a bit. Because can you imagine how many episodes we'd have to go through to get to this point? Maybe 50 instead of 25? And it'd all be like this, where I'd be dominating, and it'd be really boring. And I have to think of 50 episodes worth of gibberish, rather than 25. I suppose the uh, the real meta thing to do is just to record only the Blacklist race, but then you don't get the fun chases. Like, uh, 
Hot Pursuit 2077, which um, I don't think I've named anything that yet. That'll, that'll come that. That'll be like the last one, I think. We'll keep going. Ooh, don't get me that time. Thumb tree. Who needs trees? Who needs oxygen? I didn't realise the whole, like, how I named the Pursuit Only episodes is <laughs> a bit shitty, but I like it. It's fun. There come a point in the future where um, people look back at these videos and be like, there, there is a Hot Pursuit 2077. <laughs> it was DLC for Cyberpunk. I like, oh. nah. I don't think that's a crossover that will ever happen. It'd be cool though, if it did. Okay, what's funny though, um, I want to say 15 years ago maybe, I was on a, um, on a forum and it had like one of the shout boxes on it and we kept spamming uh, 2020 jokes, like in 2020 we won't have plastic bags, we'll have laser thingies or whatever, but it was, it was funnier, I, I thought it was actually said but we're making actual jokes about 2020. It's just weird that in only like five months it's going to be 2020. In fact, four, because this video is released in August. So, four months it'll be 2020. Yeah, all those years ago, we are making jokes about it like it was so far away. Those are like old internet times, but we had like forums and shout boxes. Now it's all Facebook groups and Instagram. Ah, how we've, how we've fallen, internet. That. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, I, I um, I, we, we've done it. It's easy, no issue. Two marks from Webster. If I get the Corvette, I'm happy. If I don't, I don't mind actually because <laughs> it, I like them. But you know, it's not a, it's not a must-have car. Do I go for? Oh, that, that's useful. Go for that one. Oh, didn't get the pink slip, but we did get an extra impound strike, which we can use for well, a fucking car. Right, JV Joe Vega does not drive a Chevy Vega. If he did, this game would be amazing. Let's uh, check him out. Dodge Viper SRT10. JV is a cool cat. Uh, he's actually the top guy that isn't Razor's boy. So, this is like, I guess the ex number one blacklist guy? So if you think about it, Razor and his two boys, Bull and Ronnie, went up the blacklist. Also, Jay's video is really, really boring and basic. Nothing outstanding. Thanks, Razor. It's going to be a pencil neck. I'll come here and like, okay. But yeah, um... So yeah, Team Razor, three of them, we've got the blacklist together. So, JV's like the old number one. Which means Webster's number two? Doesn't make, that doesn't, doesn't sound right. Um... So yeah, let's check out the new... New milestones and stuff we need. Uh, right. 28 police vehicles to tag. 325,000 bounty, 150,000 cost to stay, and six infractions. Easy. Easy shit. And some cameras. Easy. Race wise, we have user selection. No drag races, actually. Weird. We used to have a few drag races. So, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful car. We have $292,000 and it will be spent on the next race car, which you will see on the next one. So until then, goodbye. Great.